Hi all, and welcome to the Warehorn Channel. My name is Tim, and today is Ghostly Tales Day. Sorry, it is a little bit late. I have recently started a full-time job, and other stuff, like other commitments outside of work, has held me back just a little bit. So I'm doing my best to get this content to you. So as you can already tell in the picture, we are here to talk about the Australian Min Min Lights. Now there is quite a wide range of stories about these certain lights. Are they scientific? Is there a natural cause for these lights or are they a paranormal phenomenon? Now the story I am about to tell you is also again one of my dad's encounters with these lights. Now is it extraterrestrial? Is it scientific? Or is it paranormal? We don't know, but in this particular story, my dad and my mum were driving home from Tamworth, New South Wales, one night uh, between Urella and Armidale, New South Wales, most notably around Summerers Creek. So as you're going up the hill towards Armidale Airport, um, they were coming home and there was this ball of light in the middle of the road about a few, about a hundred metres away, and when they got a little bit close to this ball of light, it shot up into the sky and completely disappeared. Now, my dad had hung out the window like an idiot to have a look, and he couldn't see it again, and he was trying to tell my mum to stop, but my mum wouldn't stop. She, being an Aboriginal woman, she thought straight away, Mimin light, she ain't stopping. <laughs> um... Anyways, my dad couldn't explain it. He just said it was this big ball of light sitting in the middle of the road. And as soon as they got close to it, it was like they hit it and it's flown up into the sky. Um, now, I've never seen any Moomin light, moon lights myself. So as we were saying, is it natural? Is it scientific? Is there any cause for these lights? or are these paranormal phenomena. In Aboriginal, Aboriginal history, people believe that this is elder, elder, our spirits of our elders. So what else is there to think about these lights? But these are very interesting to say the least. If you have any stories of any new lights, please let us know in the comments down below. And uh, we'll see you all next week on Ghostly Tales. Hopefully I can get it to you as soon as possible. Thanks. See you guys.